day one, I spawned into the beta version of the Demon Slayer man. So why do I look like I'm from the manga? And why does Inosuke look like that? The first thing I'm going to need to help me survive is a Nichiren sword, which is usually made using Scarlet Ore. But I don't even know if it's possible to get the ore or even craft them in this version of the mod, which means I can't defeat any demons. Although I can't defeat demons, at some point, I'm going to have to defeat the final boss, Muzan Jackson, when he eventually gets added into the mod. Like, he really just isn't in the mod right now. There's barely anything, but at least I have a village. I can probably yoink all their food, right? After all, we demon slayers can't fight on an empty stomach. Mate! Hopefully nothing attacks me while I'm getting this. I mean, I don't even think demons exist in this version. <gasps> I was wrong. Demons definitely do exist in this version, and one was already out to get me. Inosuke, help! Why does he have an orange face? Yes, a demon has been defeated. But I'm not a demon slayer, huh? Well, instead, I'll make some basic wooden tools. I made it to day two, which means we're out of the beta version and into version one of the Demon Slayer mod. And in this 100 days, every single day, the Demon Slayer mod version will update, adding new demons, new swords, new breathing, and everything Demon Slayer. Yay, we made it to the official version of the mod. Won't lie, I didn't think this was going to happen. But today, I'm going to try and defeat a demon by myself with no Inosuke help. So I found a demon and used my trusty pillar strat. Let's do the pillar strat. But I didn't know the demon brought a skeleton as backup. Like what? What demon does that? And to pull away. And just when I thought I was safe from the regular demons, I saw this. Why is it a boss bar? It's terrifying. And why is Upper Moon 2 in version 1 of the mod? Where is he? I'm gonna find him. I wanna see how different he looks from my regular videos. The Upper Moon demons, which will eventually be added in the later versions, are the key to summoning Muzan. Because when I defeat all six, Muzan appears. Never trust a character with glowing eyes. Whoa! He is currently the protagonist. I'm not going anywhere near him. Before day two ended, I found some of that Scarlet Ore that can be used in crafting, and I used that to make my very first Nutrient Sword. I think there are only like seven swords in the mod right now. So please give me something good. Sun breathing? We got the best possible breathing to begin with. How will any demons beat me now? While testing out sun breathing, it turns out if you use it too much, you hit your life limit and you get blindness. This totally won't come back to haunt me. Hey girl, can I have your sword? <gasps> That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was such a mistake. So I accidentally slapped a Hashira in the face. And needless to say, he was mad. But while running away from him on day three, I encountered the scariest thing possible in this version. Oh, wait, maybe I could win it. I have some breathing. Nope, 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 nope. Upper Moon 3, Akiza. Pretty much the strongest being in the mod until like version 12 when Muzan gets added. Go away, regular demon. Now's not the time. <laughs> Please, no. Oh my god, what attack was that? Is that the thing he did in the anime? I've hit my life limit. No, please. I haven't mentioned why dying is so bad for me. It's literally worse than dying in hardcore. Please. Is that another Akiza? What the actual act? Now, I know what you may be thinking. I can just respawn. This is not hardcore mode. Well, that's where you're wrong. Kinda. In this video, every single time I die in this 100 days, I have to give away 10,000 Robux in celebration of my Roblox channel. So go subscribe to the Roblox channel, I guess. I'm gonna be homeless by the time this video ends. I can already tell. So go check out the second channel if you like Roblox. After dying, I headed into a village, beat up an iron golem, and used his remains to make a pickaxe. Then I took even more food from them and left to try and find a place to build a base. It's day four! Woo. At the start of the day, I spotted a strange looking redstone ore on the side of a mountain. Turns out this was the very first Muzan blood ever added into the mod, which is bad because it means we're getting even closer to Muzan and being in the mud. But more importantly, I need to find a place to build a house. What? This mountain is huge. Mount Yoko. Oh, wow. This is the first Demon Slayer biome added. Let's go see what's at the top of the mountain. Maybe there's something I can use to get revenge on Akiza. This mountain has some Scarlet Orb, which is great as I can get more swords. Also, some rare Scarlet Orb, whatever that means. However, this place was crawling with these things. What even is that? It's so ugly. <gasps> Bro, it's gonna eat me. Day five, I left the scary mountain and found a guy called Haganeska, who must have been added in one of the last versions, and he could create me a Hashira sword. What is that? Is that ruined? Oh, God. Now I have nothing again. Rui is going on the hit list I've created. He's joining Akaza on there. Oh my God, I forgot. That's another $100 gun. This is pain. This is actual pain. Okay, it's speed run time. I spent day six and seven collecting everything I had lost and more. Let's get some iron. And that's full iron. Oh, ho, ho, diamonds. Now I'm bored. So let's go to the surface and see what changed over the past two days. Oi, Giyu, what has changed? Ow, bro. <laughs> you nearly ended my life. If I didn't have these four extra hearts for being Mizunoe rank, I would be done. Okay, Mr. Giyu, sir, I will go up right away. Let's not get on that guy's bad side. Damn. So I was forced up the mountain with no Demon Slayer sword, and I came across the Hand Demon. And although he hadn't been updated yet, I still had to be really careful. Keep quiet. <laughs> Don't make a noise. It's right there. Okay, now we made it past. I can try find some scholars. Doors. There's one and two. Hopefully we can find a new Hagen-esque after that one got destroyed by Rui. After a day of searching, I found the swordsmith inside a house of the village and I gave him the rare Scarlet Ore to make the best sword possible. I was hoping for something amazing like Gyu's sword or Tanjiro's sword. 
Are you trolling? I got Zenitsu sword. I can only use thunder breathing first form, huh? I've actually been scammed. I knew I shouldn't have gambled on what sword I could get. I knew it. I guess I can probably take a hand demon down at least, right? With my new sword in hand, I went up the mountain to take on the hand demon as he would be great practice for taking down Akiza and Rui. And he was honestly not even a challenge. I beat him with one single attack. Hold on. Defeat the four remaining hand demons. Why is there four more? They do half my health in one hit. Uh-oh. Wait, what happens if I just don't defeat the hand demons? You know what? I really don't want to find out so let's do this <laughs> no no no! eat the golden apple quick 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 come on first form got speed that's one two three i'm the last one Oh, so I was stuck in this version until I defeated them. Quickly, it's easy for me. I didn't have to buy more Robux. <laughs> On day 11, I came across a new biome which spawns tons of demons. So I made it my base. What could go wrong? Whoa, I'm so good at building. Picasso who? While enjoying my time inside my base, a strange demon on fire was lurking outside. And it looked like it had a lot of health. So I did the only thing I could with Zenitsu's sword and I ran away. I have no idea what version that thing was added, but just look at it. Day 12 is when things went from bad to terrible. Is that Upper Moon 1? Is that the first ever model of Upper Moon 1? One. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Run, run, run. Get down. Get down. Has he gone? When I finally made it out from hiding, I tried to make my way inside, but it turns out he was just chilling in my household of day 13. The strongest demon in the mod is not Akuza anymore. It's definitely this guy. He's not leaving, bro. What? Fine, keep the house. The next day, I knew I needed some better swords to fight the upper moon demons. Like this one. Wait, it looks so scuffed in this version of the mod. <laughs> so I headed towards a Mount Yoko. And after a day of searching, I only found four pieces of rest all at all, allowing me to get two more swords. Igro and Shinazagawa. Hey, that's not bad. More importantly, I can't fight any demons without food. And I'm about to run out of bread, so I need to find another village. Sadly for me, the village I found to get food was being raided by Upper Moon 2 Doma and a horde of demons. Meaning I would have to be very careful in trying to get even a single piece of wheat. And I've already been spotted by two demons. They're still chasing me. There's Doma. He's in the middle. And there is the goal. Okay, make the jump. Oh god. Oh no. That's a lot of demons. Quick, get the bread. Get the bread. They're still chasing me. Come on, please. <laughs> this is so close. I got six pieces. I got six pieces. I'm out. First form, got speed. And before reaching home, I found Sabito waiting nearby. And he offered to train me and give me resistance if I defeated him. Which would be great because the demons are getting stronger each time the version updates. Fight me, Sabito. It wasn't even a fight. Wow. No. He just used substitution jutsu. After training with Sabito, I found Nezuko, who finally in this version can enchant my swords with the red sword enchantment. We need this badly because this stops demons from regening health. Please enchant this and this and this. But when I finally reached home on day 16, I found a very unwelcome guest inside. Is that Muzan? What the heck? First up a moon one and now Muzan. Get out of my house. Wait, could I do any damage though? Since this is the first version of Muzan. What? <laughs> nope. This, that, that's your house now, Muzan. Over the next few days, I found a new place and built up a base that should keep me safe from the demons. But while building, I used up every piece of food I had, so I needed to go find something and fast. Careful, careful. We found food. Let's cook the food. Now I'm good. On day 21, I tried picking up a random pot on the floor since it looked kind of cool. An Upper Moon 5 Gyoko jumped out. He was way too strong of a demon for me to fight, and I was not interested in giving away more Robux. Instead, on day 22, I found an updated hand demon. He would be much more on my current level. Whoa, he can summon the ground hands now. Doesn't matter though. Boom, easy. The next few days, I traveled across new chunks to find anything that could have been added in the new versions of the mod. And there was a lot. A temple demon. That's a free level up from him. Ooh, demon slayers drop swords now. Okay, that's good. What sword are we going to get? A moon breathing sword. That must be new. What is this abomination? Is this the first ever butterfly mansion? Look at the roof. <laughs> Oh, a cherry blossom tree. I'm gonna go steal the leaves from that after I explore this place. It's huge inside. What the heck? Is there anything even good in here, though? Oh, look at this room. Okay, this has got to be Shinobi's poison making room. Whoa! What? Look at all the food. Wait, look at all the steak. I'm taking it all. I'm taking every single piece. Day 26, I came across one of the craziest bugs that has ever existed in the Demon Slayer mod. The unlimited pot bug. Upper five was somewhere in this forest and I would never be able to find him with that many pots around. Instead of risking my money against an upper moon, I thought I would instead go find a lower moon, Rui. I need to find a mountain Natagumo biome. Basically, we're looking for a biome with weird looking grass. Aha, we found it. Now we search for Rui. Whoa, I didn't realize the spider people were in this version. Oh, is that Rui's? brother? I've got Zenitsu's breathing. Hang on. We all know what happens now. After defeating Rui's brother, I ran into a not suspicious house and turns out Rui was inside and he was not happy. Oh, this isn't good. I've only got six bonus hearts, but I don't care. I'm not running away. I'm getting revenge for the Robux I lost earlier on. Wait, is that Rui's dad? Why does he look like that? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm back. Wind attack. Rui defeated. 
Well, isn't that great? I love these random events. Yay. Come here, Rui. And that's two out of three. I'm stuck inside. And the last one. Now I can progress. Finally. Day 28 to 31, I decided I would try and find as many Hasharas as possible to see all of their changes and see if I can get anything from them. And after finding two of the Hasharas, I gained another two hearts, bringing me up to 18. But after that, I encountered Upper Moon 1. Whoa, this version of Upper Moon 1 is so much cooler than him in version 10. More importantly, though, the Demon Slayer headquarters is finally added into the mod. And there's absolutely nothing good in here, though. That sucks. Just outside the headquarters was a new lower moon. So after easily defeating the demon, I then thought I should try taking out Upper Moon 2 as practice for Akita. You're not scared. I'm coming to back you up. Never mind. Holy damage. I'll try not to lose my money. I got sent into the first version of the dream world by Lower Moon 1 Enmu. But when I finally returned out from this place, it spawned me on top of a random mountain in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, wait. This is actually kind of cool. Enmu may have thought he was being smart, but instead he just put me on a mountain with rare Scarlet Ore, meaning I can gamble for even more swords. If one sword is worth two Scarlet Ore, I have 12 Scarlet Ore. That means if my math is correct, we get at least one sword. And while I may have all of this ore, it only matters if I can actually find a swordsmith without dying at all. What? That is one scary boy. How did he change so much in five versions or something? What the heck? It doesn't matter to me, though. Oh, well, he was still just as easy. And here is the swordsmith. Give me swords. Oh, we got Tanjiro's sword. Flame breathing. Oh, no. Hagadeska. Up a minute to chase me here. What? Run. Ooh, I'm safe. Now that I had way too many swords, I made my way into a Mugen train biome to search for a Nezuko because I needed red sword if I wanted to reach the Hashira rank and defeat demons. I made sure to avoid any of the upper moon demons I came across because they all keep getting updated with even better powers. Oh my god, just look at how menacing upper moon one looks now. Because it won't be that hard, right? I found a Nezuko after searching for about two days and got the red sword enchantment on every sword I had. And then I began grinding for Hashira rank. And this was not easy. Changing versions, I had to kill over 200 demons to become a Hashira, but it should normally only take about 50 regular demons or one of the 12 moons. And Upper Moon 3 Akaza wasn't going to make it any easier for me to reach Hashira rank. Yes, and Moon defeated. That'll be big. Oh god, that was Akaza. Jump. Quick. No, I'm going to lose 10k Robux. No, not the Robux. Am I safe? There's no way he chased me this far. There's just no way. After that scare, I continued killing the final demons I needed, but swore to truly get revenge and take down Akaza for good, and I would do it soon. Any moment now, please. And that's Hashira. You know what? Let's fight Akaza right now. This was such a mistake. Oh my god. 11th form. Oh my god. I blocked everything you just tried to use. <laughs> I dodged. If I get hit once, I'm literally gonna die. Blocked again. Get good, Akaza. There's just this much of a skill difference. It was going well for me. I was using all the swords I had gambled for, and it was finally looking I could defeat Akaza until night four come on he said he's gone i just need to survive i can do this nope nope what was that lightning why is my sprint working oh my god get away i'm only on two hearts that lightning was upper moon four an upper moon who controls lightning and with me being in the open and on two hearts quickly thunder breathing first form no even after beating Akaza, he still did enough damage. Bro. I defeated Akaza, though. That's all that matters, I guess. I avenged myself from back in version 2. It was day 45 when I made it back to what was left of my loot. And I decided now would be the perfect time to start training to unlock the Demon Slayer mark. Which not only looks super cool when used, but it gives me crazy regeneration. Which I would need if I don't want that to happen again. With a mark, I'm not going to die so easily. I'm going to be stronger than ever. And there is the mark. Okay, I can leave this horrible biome now. Since I was nowhere near my old base, I decided to find a new place to build up an even sturdier house. And luckily for me, I came across a bugged building that was added in one of the earlier versions of the mod. What is this house? Why is the roof blue? Oh, wait, it's Tanjiro's house. This must be like the first version of the house before it was put in the snow biomes. Isn't this like the perfect house for me? It kind of needs some renovations though. Holy. Yeah, the roof definitely needs some work. Okay, I'm going to steal the blocks from this roof and put it on my house. So I need a lot of these blocks. Now let's get rid of the glitched roof. <laughs> And there is the new roof. I had built my awesome new house, but it was missing some bookshelves. So first, let's go find some books. Villages usually have books, right? Wrong. It turns out these new Demon Slayer villages just have Upper Moon 6 inside. She's fast. Oh, no. But at least she's in an HD model now. I'm not dying today. I have the mark active. I can do this. Poison attack. Out comes Kutaro. Oh, God. Just like the anime, Daki is easy. A brother... Yeah, not so much. I'm poisoned. Andy doesn't miss his attacks. What the heck? 11th form. Please work. 
Oh my god, it worked. I'm alive. Here we go. Combo time. First, we use thunder breathing. Now we use insect breathing. Did I see the particles? Did he die? Okay, Daki, your turn. After I destroyed Upper Moon 6, I headed back home. But blocking my way was Upper Moon 4. It's you again. I beat Upper Moon 3 and 6. How hard can 4 be? Right? Whoa, all the forms are fully in the game now. Here comes the lightning. I can tell. 11th form. Block it, please. Haha, -ha, after dying to that once, it ain't gonna happen again, boy. I was confident in beating Upper Moon 4 until he changed into his final form. Zo Zohaku 10. Yeah, that thing. And it wasn't his final form for nothing as he did insane damage. Damage, and my water breathing 11th form did nothing. Oh, I can only block some of the hits. That's only if I time it right. Nope, nope, nope. Get me out of here. I need way better armor or something to beat this guy. Using thunder breathing, I got out of there as fast as possible and decided that the reason why I couldn't beat Upper Moon 4 was because I didn't have enough swords. So I spent days 58 to 62 gathering as much Scarlet Ore as possible to fuel my sword gambling addiction. Now we see what we get. Give me everything I don't have. We got two Uzui swords. These are new. In fact, these are what was missing when I was fighting Upper Moon 4. Yeah. Using these new swords, I tested them out on the newly added Lower Moon 2. And then on day 63, I took on Upper Moon 5. And after defeating him pretty quickly, out of nowhere appeared another mini event where I had to defeat another two. Okay, I see one of the two. Sound breathing. I can't hit him. He keeps switching pods. Ah, come back. He's in a combo. He actually can't escape. The power of sound breathing. Boom, that's two out of three. And die. And that's three. Yes, we can progress. Finally. Day 64, I was getting close to being in the latest version of the mod. After all the roadblocks that stopped me from updating, I was nearly at the final version. And the reason I'm waiting until the latest version to fight Muzan is because it makes it easier since you can block his attacks. At least I think so. Before then, I had to prepare. <laughs> what better way than an infinite money glitch? First, we need to find a Nezuko and we need to kidnap her. I mean, bring her back to her house. Yeah. Then we make an enchanting setup. Now we force her to add red sword to all my swords. Then we remove the enchantment and now we profit. And that is all of our armor enchanted. I think we're a bit more prepared now for the last three upper moons we have to take down. So after the three remaining moons I need to take down before summoning Muzan, I decided I would take on upper moon four and truly get revenge. Come on, I can't get close at all. What the heck? Oh, what was even that? You just can't dodge that. That's ridiculous. Hide under the tree. Hide under the tree. If I hide, the lightning can't reach me. <laughs> His eyes are glowing. That's terrifying. Uh-oh. 11th form. Stay back. Stay back. Using sound breathing, I defeated Upper Moon 4 somehow. But I knew I couldn't stop there. So on day 67, I found Upper Moon 2. No more excuses. It was time to take him down. Let's just do a test hit to see how much damage we do. Okay, not bad. Okay, never mind. This isn't fair. You can hit me while I'm stuck in the ocean. We're also in the latest version of the mod now, so everything is different. Taste this, Doma. Okay, that was cool, but did I, like, even hit him? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm on life support. Send help. Oh, God. What is he doing? He's created an ice crystal around himself. Domo was playing smart. I couldn't break him out of his ice shell, and he was just healing all the damage I'd done to him. So I had to think of a plan and fast. Break it. Come on. Okay, underneath does not work. Oh, my God. He used his final move, and it got him out. Perfect. Thunder breathing. <gasps> Holy, the changes to that move are insane. I'm going so quick. Okay, I literally missed every hit. <laughs> oh no, I'm stuck. Ow. Ah, the mini doma hurts. No, I'm gonna die. Not another $100. Come on. And he's in his ice again. Can I even break him out? And he's out. Come on. Boy, he did 19 hearts in one hit. Please. It had taken everything I had to only just beat Upper Moon 2. So I was very worried about how much money I was going to lose in my fights against Upper Moon 1 and Muzan. So I used Thunder Breathing to quickly make it back home so I could begin preparing some better stuff. What was that noise? That noise was Upper Moon 1, the strongest Upper Moon, being teleported into my base. Oh, why is he inside my house? I need to get him away from my base. He's completely destroyed my house. What? Which side is he coming from? <gasps> Night form! I'm stuck. What? Why won't he stop chasing me? It's a great question. But then luckily for me, he isn't going to stop unless I take him down or lose thousands of Robux trying. So I think my strategy is just going to be to hit and run and try not to get hit. Like, what is that damage? Using my really advanced tactics of running away, I brought him into his second phase. He's in the second. It's about to go real now. And then his third phase. And now my free trial of life is over. This is it. It's game over for me. 10th form. He just destroyed the earth. Taste 10th form, Kokushibo. Wait, he blocked it? Even after gambling for all those swords, it's not enough. No, no, stay back. How <gasps> so low? Okay, here goes. Kokushibo's final phase. This is it. Do or die time. This is terrifying. One in and I'm dead. He's inbound. Insect breathing. Next water breathing. Come on. I'm going in. This is it. Yes. 
You are upper rank killer. Yes, sir, I am. And because I somehow defeated the strongest upper moon, you gotta subscribe and help me reach 500,000 subscribers. I made my way back to my completely trashed house and there was luckily stuff all over the floor. A lot of it had despawned, but I found some food. For once again, I heard the sound of drums and was sent into the infinity castle, Muzan's base. So I have no idea where I am in here, so I'm just gonna search until I can find Muzan. Nanda, itemi. There he is, Muzan Jackson. I'm not gonna lose to you. Okay, maybe I am gonna lose. Why does he hurt so much? Wait, I purposely waited to fight him until the latest version. Maybe I made a mistake. Oh, ho, ho. I even have up him in one sword and I can't do anything. He just walked He just walked through the attack. 11th form, I dropped my sword. Great, I can't block any attacks now. I'm screwed. Oh, what is this damage? I found it. He didn't take it, luckily. He's gonna ankle snap soon. I know he is. There it is. Run, run. How did I drop my sword again? I was getting destroyed by Muzan. And even worse, I couldn't escape thanks to this demon called Nakime. He ankle stabbed me. Oh, stays. What was that noise? No, I'm dead. On day 80, when I spawned back into the world, that Nakime demon was waiting for me once again. But instead of killing me, she sent me into the bedrock version of Demon Slayer Mod. And this is where things get crazy. Look down to choose my clan. Please, something good. Yorichi's clan. Oh my god, it's meant to be. Wait, how rare is this clan? 0.5% chance. Now this bedrock mod only has like two or three versions, but there is a final boss Yorichi in this. So if I can somehow defeat Yorichi, then I can get his sword and take it back with me to defeat Muzan. Despite the fact that I've never played bedrock version, I have played Minecraft. So I got wood, made a boat, which needed a shovel, like what? And then traveled across the world in search of calcite, which is what I used to make swords in this version. Well, I can't find any calcite, but I found a village. And this village is infested with demons. Nice. I'm going to go to sleep. No, thanks. Unless... Oh. Day 82 included the latest version of the Bedrock mod. And it also reset all of my progress from Day 81, but instead it adds some great new features. If I stare at the floor, I can see my stats. That's so cool. Inherited memories. I can learn sun breathing. Family secrets. I can learn 13th form. Sugikuni is the best family, 100%. Oh, hey, look, it's Yorichi. I'm going to have to defeat you somehow. Do you have anything to say? I need to be careful about demons, okay? And I have the innate power to learn the breath of the sun. I need to kill 20 demons to unlock sun breathing. Uh... Okay. After talking to Yorichi, I asked other Hasheras about their breathing styles, and sun breathing was the most expensive by a long shot. So to start working towards that, I waited until night and begun fighting some demons. Any demons? Why can't I see any? Oh, never mind. That's my first demon right there. What? It's fast! That's one demon and one horn. What? What was that? Yeah, that was a demon. Okay, stop overreacting me. Objective, learn a breath style. Yep, I was gonna do that anyway. Three down. Why am I blind? What is going on? Thanks to having the Sugikuni clan, I gained overpowered abilities every time I fell below 50% health. This made fighting the demons so much better and I didn't have to risk losing even more money. Die, demon. All right, I want half a heart. Oh my God. Furnace. I right, put in the food and now I'm back to full hunger. Day 83, I found Upper Moon 1 hiding outside a village. So I, for some reason, went to talk to him. Fukushima, please don't kill me. Oh, wait, five demons? horns for moon breathing? I'm interested. I'm gonna do it. Ah, you have returned. Yes, I have. <gasps> no, I couldn't move while I was talking to Upper Moon 1. Is my second channel really worth losing this much money? At least I got moon breathing. So how do I do moon breathing? Meditate. Oh, I could buy different moves with skill points. So basically, I'm a weakling until I get all of them. Gotcha. Fighting style. Oh, I obviously chose the katana fighting style. And this gave me my Nitrian blade, which also gave me access to my new moon breathing move. And with my new moves, I spent days 84 to 87 fighting demons and getting enough demon horns to afford sun breathing. Before I get sun breathing, I want to upgrade my M1 combo. Whoa, it's a crazy combo now. During the day when I can't fight any demons, I spent my time hunting glow squids for ink sacs because these can be used to craft an OP item that gives skill points when eaten. But for that, I also need some sweet berries. Time to go on a journey to find berries. Yes, and that's the biome they can spawn in, right? Oh, there's tons of berries here. Nice. And it's nighttime again. More demons to kill now. Upgrade my speed. Let's get a dash. Oh, and I can get total concentration breathing. <laughs> I'm so fast now. What? Well, now I can make the skill point item that I've been putting off for a while. You the glow squid ink sacks, I made a bunch of fruit of wisdoms and got a load of skill points, which I then used to upgrade everything I possibly could that will give me a chance to take down Yorichi. So now I need to drink this breath serum that removes moon breathing. Boom! And now I can get sun breathing. Hey, Yorichi, gimme. And there it is, the book of the sun. Holy, I have 40 moves I can learn. Wow. Let's try this one. Clear blue sky. What? Whoa. Okay, this is insanely cool. To get all 40 moves of sun breathing, I had some grinding to do. So from days 88 to 97, I eradicated every demon from the face of the earth and bought every single move of sun breathing. Okay, now I can buy the 13th form. Here we go. 13th form. 
I feel like I'm actually Yorichi. Let's go. That was so sick. What the heck? More importantly, I need 60 points for Red Sword. What? Okay, I better get back to Demon Slaying. I then spent another two days farming demons and bought the Crimson Red Blade. So now it's finally time to try defeating Yorichi. Hey, Yorichi, let's do this. Come on, 13th form. <gasps> I'm doing it. It locks them in place so I can't miss. The sun breathing is unreal. What? He's got to be getting low. Surely, please. I can feel my temperature growing. I'm about to unlock the red blade. My blade is glowing. This is the blood red nitrium blade. Oh, I'm going in. I can hit an infinite combo now. What the heck is this? This is it. The final 13th form. The fact that this breathing is like better than the Java version. I'm shook. Here we go. This is it. Die, Yorichi, please. I need this sword at any cost. Yes. That was so risky. Any hit from him and I would have died. Day 100, the rematch against Muzan. But this time, I have the strongest sword in the mod to help me out. He's fighting me in my own house. I have no armor. This is going to be bad. Oh, never mind. I have the Yorichi Demon Slayer mark. It's over, Muzan. Never mind. Oh, my God. This is it. I'm melting his health. He's dying right here. I'm not losing any more money. I'm winning this. Oh, no, I fell into a ravine. This is it. I'm on one heart. I can do this. 13th form. Yes! Oh my god, Muzan has been defeated. No, wait. The lava! Wait! Oh. There is absolutely no way that just happened. No! If you thought me dying to lava was funny, you'll enjoy this video because the floor is literally lava.